heteropolysaccharides so in this video we will see about the definition and examples of uh, heteropolysaccharides heteropolysaccharides that is hetero means different poly means many and saccharides means sugar units so these heteropolysaccharides are a type of carbohydrates which are made of many sugar units and these many sugar units are different in nature all these sugar units are different so that is why these are called as heteropolysaccharides these are also called as mucopolysaccharides because they were first discovered in mucin and these heteropolysaccharides that are present in human beings are called as glycosaminoglycans heteropolysaccharides other names are mucopolysaccharides and glycosaminoglycans now these heteropolysaccharides they have they have repeating disaccharide units so these heteropolysaccharides as such they are made of many sugar units now those sugar units are disaccharide units so disaccharide is nothing but it is made of two sugar units so uh, these are made of repeating disaccharide units which are made of two different monosaccharides now these disaccharide units these are made of two different monosaccharide units so this is one type and this is the other type of sugar unit so one monosaccharide that is present in this the repeating disaccharide is amino sugar that is n acetyl glucosamine or n acetyl galactosamine and the other monosaccharide is uronic acid that is either glucuronic acid or hydronic acid so one type of monosaccharide that is present here is an amino sugar which can be n acetyl galactosamine or n acetyl glucosamine and the other type of mono uh, monosaccharide is uronic acid which can be glucuronic acid or hydronic acid now because they have amino sugars in them they are also called as glycosaminoglycans coming to the structure of these glycosaminoglycans or heteropolysaccharides it is an unbranched glycosaminoglycan is an unbranched heteropolysaccharide which is made of repeating disaccharide units so it is made of repeating disaccharide units and this these repeating disaccharide units can be it has two different types of monosaccharides out of which one is a type of amino sugar and the other is a uronic acid so like we discussed the amino sugar can be a glucosamine or a galactosamine and uronic acid can be glucuronic acid and hydronic acid so it can be said that gag is a polymer of uronic acid and amino amino sugar now this polymer is covalently attached to extracellular protein this is the protein core and except for hyaluronic acid so that is why they are also called as proteoglycans so these are the repeating disaccharide units which are joined together to for to a core protein so they are also called as proteoglycans so as a result this structure gives resemblance to a bottle brush or bottle brush appearance with the exception of hyaluronic acid all glycosaminoglycans contain sulfide sulfate group now these many hydropolysaccharides or glycosaminoglycans aggregate together to form large molecules which are an essential component of extracellular matrix some examples of such large molecules are syndican agrican versican decoren etc now the different types of glycosaminoglycans differ from each other in the following properties that is uronic acid composition that we have seen it can be hydronic acid or it can be glucuronic acid and they also differ in amino sugar composition that can be glucosamine n acetyl glucosamine or it can be n acetyl galactosamine and they also differ between the linkages that are present between these amino sugar and uronic acid and the chain length of the disaccharide polymer is also one of the difference presence or absence of presence or absence of sulfate group and their position of attachment to the sugar nature of the core protein that to which they are attached the tissue and subcellular distribution and biological functions so all these glycosaminoglycans differ from each other in all the following properties 
So different types of glycosaminoglycans are hyaluronic acid, chondritin sulfate, keratin sulfate, dermatin sulfate, heparin sulfate and heparin. We'll see about each of them. Hyaluronic acid is a jelly-like substance that fills the intercellular spaces of animal tissues. It is present in synovial fluid. It is present here in the synovial fluid and in the vitreous humor. Now this acts as a lubricant and also as a shock absorber. This is present in humans and in bacteria. Now bacteria specially have an enzyme called as hyaluronidase which cleaves the glycosidic linkages that are present between the repeating disaccharide units and helps in the spread of the bacterial infection. Structure of this hyaluronic acid it is made of repeating disaccharide unit. So it is made of D-glucuronic acid plus N-acetyl glucosamine joined together by beta-1-3 linkages. So it is present, uh, the linkage that is present in hyaluronic acid is beta-1-3 and it is made of glucuronic acid and N-acetyl glucosamine. Next is chondritin sulfate. It is present mainly in cartilage and this is made of repeating disaccharide units like D-glucuronic acid plus N-acetyl galactosamine. Now this chondritin sulfate as the name suggests it has a sulfate group that is present at 4th and 6th carbon. 4th or 6th carbon. Next glycosaminoglycon is keratin sulfate which is present in cornea and is transparent and it does not contain uronic acid. It contains only galactose plus N-acetyl glucosamine. The fourth one is dermatin sulfate is present in skin and it is also present in blood vessel walls and valves of heart and this is made of hyaluronic acid and N acetyl galactosamine with sulfur at fourth carbon as the name suggests dermatin sulfate has sulfur that is present at the fourth carbon. Next heparin this is present in mast cells and that are present these mast cells are present along the arteries and they prevent coagulation of blood especially during circulation and also in lungs and liver so this heparin is made of two uronic acids plus glucosamine or n-acetyl glucosamine and uh, this heparin is extensively sulfated that is it has many sulfur groups attached to this structure now this heparin, low molecular weight heparin preparations are commonly used in atherosclerotic conditions like hand, heart attack and cerebral stroke because it is an anticoagulant. Heparin sulfate is extracellular. It is found in basement membrane and also on cell surfaces. It is similar to heparin except that it is less sulfated and it consists of glucosamine and glucuronic acid. And another type of uh, heteropolysaccharide which is not present in human beings is agar or agarose this is present or prepared from seaweeds agar contains galactose and glucose agarose contains galactose and anhydrogalactose now when this agar is dissolved in water at 100 degrees centigrade and cooled it sets into a gel now this gel is used as a culture medium for bacterial colonies and also it can be used as a supporting medium for immunoelectrophoresis uh, for diffusion. So we can remember all these structures uh, in these glycosaminoglycons with the help of this mnemonic that is Hari has CKD or chronic kidney disease. So H rim stands for hyaluronic acid. And Hari in this H stands for hyaluronic acid. H has, so H stands for heparin. C stands for chondritin sulfate. K stands for keratin sulfate. And D stands for dermatin sulfate. Now how do we remember all these structures of these different glycosaminoglycons? Is hyaluronic acid is made of N-acetyl glucosamine and glucuronic acid. That is glue glue. Whereas heparin is made of glucosamine and hydronic acid that is glue I. And chondritin sulfate is made of N-acetyl galactosamine and glucuronic acid that is gal glue. 
and keratin sulfate is made of n acetyl glucosamine and galactose so glu gal and dermatin sulfate is made of n acetyl galactosamine and hyaluronic acid that is gali so like this with the help of this easy some uh, trick we can remember the structures glu 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 i gal glu glu gal and gali i hope this uh, helps in remembering the structures of all these uh, glycosaminoglycans coming to the functions of these glycosaminoglycans hyaluronic acid has a role in uh, migration during development especially in embryonic embryogenic tissues and it is also present in synovial fluid and uh, vitreous humor helps in lubrication and in cartilage and bones chondroitin sulfate has a role in ca uh, calcification chondroitin sulfate and hyaluronic acid are present in cartilage helps in uh, lubrication Keratin sulfate and dermatin sulfate are present in cornea, help in making cornea transparent. And heparin is an anticoagulant and has a role in preventing atherosclerosis. Heparin sulfate, it is present extracellularly, is a part of membrane proteins and takes part in cell-to-cell -cell interaction by acting as a component of receptor protein. And heparin sulfate helps in uh, it is a part of glomerular membrane and helps in has a role in glomerular filtration.